some position, but here we have to take off. Um, we tried with the regular scope position and we couldn't. Um, it wasn't just given the right alignment. And so we went into the long loop and we managed to get in and then straighten again. And the issue hit. Sloppy collapse duct. It had everything that makes the ERCP difficult. But then goes to show you that you don't need to do needle knife everywhere. Okay. So we've, we've had some difficult cases, but we managed uh, yeah. all of them so far. I don't think anyone has had needle knife. Okay. So you can cannulate, and that's what we were telling you that if you should you should be able to cannulate almost nine or ten. Uh, Khalid, would you agree with that? Yes. This is More a than that this is going to be a difficult case. Now, CA gallbladder is a horrible disease. No cancer I have seen is worse than that. This patient is unlikely to be alive beyond two to three months, no matter what you do. That's what we have seen. Uh, and if they do, then I know that it's not CA gallbladder. Very unlikely. Um, both the ducts were dilated, but the problem here was that the, the stricture was very, very tight. Dilated, put two stents, the results with, with one system draining so well, um, I can't remember your trial was, I've got forgetting, can't say published, but anyway, I think you see the GIM. Two, two stents versus single stents. The results are not very different. Okay. Yeah, I, so, I don't know how the good of that trial was. There were some issues there. Uh, uh, with the trial. But in my experience, mm -hmm. I think the which is, which is uh, you know, seeing a lot of these patients, I think single stents, plastic stents, uh, not put too deep, uh, do pretty well. And if they don't do well, mm -hmm. you bring them back and then you can deal and then with you it. Can do the same. But uh, for those who are okay with one stent, that's fine. Do we put a metallic stent in such patients because we didn't have complete uh, thing? I would want this patient to go to MDT. Uh, you know, at least have a chance. She's only 32. Give her all the chance and then decide. So for that reason, obviously there is no point putting a metallic stent here. A uh, plastic stent is cost effective. It's sensible in someone where you don't have complete workup. The other point which we can debate about is whether we should do cytology. Uh, breast cytology here or not. Um, our results have not been so good, so to be honest, that's the bias we have uh, with cytology. And so we do uh, very little breast cytology, if at all. Um, but that's something that if you have a good uh, cytopathology setup at and you want to. Yeah. At, at hand. There's a paper on it which says that uh, uh, the breast cytology that has been fixed on spot. We, the the there are only two centers that I know or that can do it, and we are one of them. But we don't have a cytopathologist uh, on site, although we can prepare slides and send them. I guess we need we to start do doing. That. We, we need to do. We, we need to do that more often. But still, there are ways of doing it, and most people I know are not doing correctly, including ourselves. So, with that, uh, I, I don't. I want to do. Uh, Breast cytology is uh, probably as much as we should. So those are the two questions that I knew would have different answers. I'm sure maybe you would put two stents in that. Um, I'm not sure whether you, you would do the same. I think rather it's a different approach probably in the US to diagnosis it a little from the diagnosis. Now, in this workup, the next workup, she should go to EUS to find out to go to, if we can get a tissue diagnosis, yeah. see how she is, yeah, exactly. look at this. Because surgery, though, to me, you see a gallbladder is an problem. absolute waste of time. So yeah, you can uh, easily get a tissue diagnosis with a 25-day needle, even if it's only gallbladder involved. We can do FNA on the gallbladder. We have done multiple times. So, so we can get, so that has a better yield yes. than Brush. cytology, breast cytology, in, even in a, in a center like ours. So my plan would be for her to go for U.S. next, see if we can get something from there. If we can get something from there, that's fantastic. We'll do FNA. And then ideally, we send, it, send them to oncologists who will then take them to MDT, see what is the what is best for, for this uh, young 32-year-old lady. But uh, I, I'm, I've actually gone off putting two stents, to be honest, so I don't. So the point of the stents, I think with the delivery of 25, it's likely that she 
case study on volume-based gradients. So again, the right side is hypertrophic, and the left is atrophic. Then you're right. And that you really don't need a And she may just need a single step. Looking at the duct, I it didn't put like a lot of di yeah, dye, but like you can it. clearly see that the right system, okay, right anterior, was pretty pretty dilated. Forget about it. Yeah. 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 So that that's the other thing. Yeah. Like the, the dilation doesn't mean it's functional. Dilation could be secondary to atrophy. Oh, exactly. yeah. So that was, that's what I like. Many dilations are not just because. But of to of answer your point theory. about 25 millirubin. Our so average, our, 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 we see this all the time. When our patients are 25 yeah. average, delivery should be 20. Right. Okay, so 18, 20. Sort of so I have seen patients with very, very high delivery with just single stent do pretty well. Mm -hmm. So to be yeah, honest, generally I, 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 I'm, a, I'm a very strong believer based on, on our experience that a single stent is fine unless this patient comes back in, in a week or two weeks and we find out that he's not settling down and we go back in and do something. Yeah. Uh, and if we can't do it, I, I'm not too sure that after the first time, tight stricture, maybe we'll see gallbladder, you'll be able to put a wire in that system. If you can't, then you ask for the PTC and ask them to drain the other system and then put two stents that way. Yeah. Um, but that is, that is what we do first line um, with, our, with our experience. Three and a half thousand dollars short cholangioscopy. You get it? And the uh, EUS is uh, this one, in this ward is zero. <laughs> so that's see the thing is a lot of things can be done. There are there are a lot of things that are being done internationally. We'll go to call it off. Yeah, yeah. I think we'll have to reschedule the patients tomorrow. Any studies say that you know they are tired although they've only done five places. It's us, we've done. It's <laughs> universal. I think we have to respect it. Yeah. <laughs> At least with anesthesia, it's universal. Yeah. Yes, sir. So, uh, answer your question. There are a lot of things that are being done in the world, and yes, of course, we need to try and uh, see as how, how far we can be at par with them. But then you also have to be realistic. You have to be realistic about cost, which is a major issue here. You have to be realistic about resources, logistics, everything. So in our, with our practice, our resources, our logistics, our plan, you know, my plan in this patient would be to put a stent and that's what Sajda would do. Put a stent, see how she does. Um, US, we have the facility, we'll just put a camera, have a look. Um, sometimes if we have time, we would have actually rolled her into the next room and had, because she's already performed. We also have the system in that same room. So the scope could have been brought and we could have actually used the same protocol thing. But they were tired, so I said, forget it. So yes, EUS are get available at the do an EUS. Uh, FNA, after pass tissue diagnosis larger than what do you do? You send them to oncologist who might give chemotherapy, which I'm afraid I have yet to see somebody yeah. from <laughs> definite <laughs> CA gallbladder to actually respond. I, I, I have worse than thing. It is oh, it's horrible. I, I, my first case, one of the first cases when I came to Pakistan was an 18-year-old girl who was found to have CA gallbladder on incidental gallbladder removal. So they had removed the damn gallbladder. She came to me after a month, obstructed, put a stented. She came after a month, completely rigid abdomen. The surgeon said, your stent has gone through. I said, yes, uh, it can't. It's not. He said, no, no, it has. They opened her up. It was exactly. nothing but tumor all over the abdomen. 18 year old. Died within two and a half months of cholecystectomy where they incidentally removed actually the tumor. So gallbladder CA is, is horrible. We all see it. I mean, I, I've never seen CA gallbladder like this. Here we are every week CA gallbladder. Okay. Okay. Uh, yeah, they, they, the Indians have done some work and they, lot of, Theories in the sense that it's something to do with the Indus belt and something to do with uh, genetic as well as environmental genetic factor genetic alongside genetic. Indus belt. We have a lot of Asian population in our catchment area, and it's what I have in mind. So, I thought the border of the policy to help us follow up to them normally, so we have another right line that we have one centimeter above the Asian population is about six, six millimeters. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, we follow them up, all of them, and also our threshold for uh, cholecystectomy in patients with gallstones, young patients, my threshold and other colleagues of mine is very low. Asymptomatic gallstones, I said, take it out, man. If you know gallbladder, take You know, stones at the age of 20, 25, just get it out even if you're asymptomatic. Yeah, so it makes a lot of sense. I mean, you know, that's one of the factors. Uh, but again, you know, obviously, it's hard to as I said, we had a research wing. We, we could give a lot of uh, material and, uh, and, and a lot of things that we could have done. So sorry, um, what we will try and compensate the uh, cases for the hands-on. But if this will happen, uh, we can uh, guess that that was sometimes it's not happening. And again, stent ka bhi hai tha, the way he actually advanced the thing I knew that uh, that won't uh, that, that might end up and I didn't want to lose the access. Lose the access of tomorrow. Although you know, once you've done that it was after point another dilatation wala. Um, if the sphincterotome would not have gone would have gone with difficulty, then yes then I'm worried. And I make sure that I sometimes would use a Soindra ten fret, see if it goes through and if it goes through then put a stand with that three. Uh, if the sphincterotome goes through and uh, you know without any problem, um, then I feel that uh, the stent should be we should be able to, especially if you're straight, the way it was, this is easy stenting. It wasn't difficult. Mm -hmm. Metallic stent. Abhi humne discuss kiya bata. Metallic stent a cost number one. B we don't know what we are going to do with her for sure. C C um, problem ye ke if you have, if for sure liver, liver met saying ke I'm not sure. CT scan ko mein trust nahi karta hai. If for sure met saying to mein waisi nahi raalunga. And also for these cases, you need a non-covered stand. Not the cover. Because if you put a cover on one side, you're blocking the other side. So if you go across the high end, yes. So if you put stand on that side, it's involving high end. You have announced? So, yeah, you have a, and uh, if you put on the numbers, yeah. that never comes up. So you have to put as like a, uh, uh, look at everything before you decide for either method steps. So what about partially covered? Well, well, same, thing. same thing. Partially covered is only this much is not covered. The upper part. And the small part. If you've got highlight involvement, and you can see that one of the ducts was literally um, you know, compress there. You put a stent, covered stent, whether it's partial, and that block, that's going to block, make things worse. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so I, I think that's a very so important point. Partially covered stent, uh, it sounds really good, but the only uncovered portion is only this much. Yeah. So that doesn't make sense. So it's just really pretty much uh, as a covered stent, and you're just leaving a little bit portion on the top and bottom to uh, see if it uh, holds some tissue. Uh, uh, from, uh, uh, hoping that this that particular case happen. will also give you a feedback. We'll tell you how she's done through the next two weeks. What's that group? We'll give you an update on uh, how patients who are to interesting patients will be updated. I think it's, uh, it's time now to call it a day. I'm sure you are tired, we are not tired. Khalid especially looks very fresh. There's a dinner at barbecue tonight. Um, we have the entire staff and everybody there. Um, and uh, I have to regret today, uh, first time I'll miss the faculty dinner, uh, fac uh, course dinner. Um, I had a commitment uh, where I have to go. I can't say no, so that was something that, that was like planned also long before and this course was planned in such a way that it coincided with the PSG. So it helped and made it easy for them to come because it's not easy. So I hope there was some learning for you today. I hope you've got some concepts and um, hopefully tomorrow we'll have a very nice lecture on cannulation techniques which will further emphasize some of the things that you've already seen. You've already, we've already been discussing different options of treatments. We are discussing, uh, without you realizing, we have discussed 
metal stents, plastic stents, double stents. Okay, all those things we'll keep, we'll keep on discussing as we do the cases, and that's what learning is. So hopefully um, we'll have a good day tomorrow and hope that we have some easy cases. Trust me, we try to keep only stones, but uh, that's what I was told. And this is what happens when we think that there are stones and we turn out, they turn out to be something else. So, Babi ki tonight, sabko pata hai? 8.30? Madam? 8.30. Okay. Thank you.